It looks like so much fun here with more about the event. Jackie Wallace with the Houston Zoo. Welcome. And I love the after hours events. Yes. Uh, we were just chatting about uh, Brew at the Zoo, which was a few weeks ago. Huge success. Huge Sold success. Out. Everybody had a good time. So we'll be doing that all summer long. The third Thursday of every month, all summer, is a really cool After Dark presented by TXU Energy. And I've brought you some of the cocktails. So Ooh, each, best friend. each night <laughs> has something special to offer. And so I have something special to offer for you. Usually you bring animals and today you have cocktails with I you. I both. Oh, oh there's um, both. There's okay, both. good. So the first one is next Thursday and it is a 90s throwback. So what better Thank to you. do is a pop a rocks. Minute. You can hear it. Can we hear it? Yeah. So this is a strawberry vodka deliciousness with the Pop Rocks right in there. Oh man, that's good. Right? Oh, that so good? Ooh, so that's good. During, it tastes like a blue popsicle. <laughs> it does. During so the throwback good. event, during our it's 90s throwback night, you can play um, vintage arcade games, yard games, jam to some of the best 90s tunes out How there. Fun. And we want people to really go in with the theme. So crimp your hair. Oh no. Oh, get your back yes. shirt. Yes. On okay. Get it. Yeah, I love a good theme sure. party. What's so great about this is we know the dates, um, and you could just mark your calendar, yeah. get your babysitter now, and know that that Thursday, Third Thursday is every your date night. night. Absolutely. And all of the ticket proceeds, or a portion of the ticket proceeds, go to help save animals mm. in the wild, which, as you know, we are all about. All about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And Jackie, by the way, because I know uh, Brew at the Zoo mm -hmm. sold out, yeah. are, is this event also in danger of selling out? It, uh, all of them are. All They're of, okay. so popular. Last year, we had three events. They all sold out. So this year, we expanded it to four. So I do suggest you get your get tickets, your tickets now. early. Get them we now. also, right now, this is the only time you can get a bundle. So you can... Save money buy all and buy all of them. Right oh, now. we'll do that. Then Perfect. you have a date night sure. every Thursday. Okay, so May 16th is yep. the 90s theme. That's the Pop Rock signature cocktail. The next one is June 20th, which is the Lone Star Soiree. Yes. So we are um, really focusing on our brand new Texas Wetlands exhibit, which opens Memorial Day weekend. Yes. We can't wait. So this one will be focused in that area of the zoo. We'll be doing some line dancing, some salsa dancing, and a strawberry margarita. Oh, wow. That's a big this drink. It is. is Careful with the white shirt. And then while we're oh, sipping so on this, let's talk about the silent disco. That one's a following. Silent disco was everyone's favorite event mm. last year. You get your own headphones and you can jam to whatever you like. So we have <laughs> no three way. different stations that people will choose from. So you could be jamming to some country while I have hip hop on and she's got some 80s rocking. Do people still talk to each other though? Oh, well, yeah, because then you take your headphones off and it's You're silent. Saying, oh my gosh. So yeah. it's silent, so it's really, really good for the funny. animals because we can crank that music up yeah. in your headphones and the animals are none the wiser. By the way, this one's the disco tea. Yes. So disco move it along, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a it's a silent disco tea, so I have a feeling it might be one of those sneaker upper drinks. I usually oh. drink in silence anyway, so <laughs> that one's gonna sneak up on you for sure. Come yeah, on. right. Yeah. I know you like that one. Yeah, that's that one's strong. good. So the last one we have here is all about that bubbly. We're closing out the summer um, with all about that bubbly, and as you can imagine, it is Cheers. champagne prosecco. Oh, and French all seventy-five. That. Yeah. So right now you're having a French seventy-five, which oh. I think is my favorite. It's got a little bit of gin, a little bit of champagne. It's just right. It's you know, so this smooth. could be the theme drink of Houston life. You should do a Houston life theme party as well. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> so I can't have a, a segment about the Houston Zoo and not bring you some animals. So we're racking our brains. What animal would really um, tell you about something that's after dark and adults only? So we brought you some naked mole rats. Oh, naked mole rats. Now it's a party. Haley, <laughs> My nickname Haley, in high one school. of our zookeepers <laughs> from our Natural Encounters building is here. Hi, Hi Haley. We have Hello. naked mole rats. They are, they are naked mole rats. 100%. Oh, look at their teeth. They're so cute. So technically, they aren't exactly naked. They are covered in these small tactile hairs because they usually live underground, so in the dark. But these small hairs help them to feel around while they're moving through their tunnels. They are adorable. Wait, <laughs> are they babies or are they fully grown? These are full grown. Some of them are probably over. Them? Right yeah, right you back. can touch them right on their back because they do have really strong jaws and oh, really big teeth. Wow. Oh, and they're making little, like, chirping. Chirping noises, yeah. almost mm -hmm. like little chicks. So what's crazy, I hope we can get a shot of this. Can you see that its teeth are on the outside? Is that right? Yeah, or the teeth are on the uh, outside of their mouth there. And that's just because they don't want to eat any of the dirt that they're moving with their mouths. So they keep their teeth on the outside and their mouths open look. the opposite way that ours do. <laughs> and look, how, look how busy these guys are down in here. What do they eat? So they eat anything that they can find growing underground. They actually don't really need water. They get all the water that they
they need from the food that we give them. Um, at the Houston Zoo, we give them things like squash, roots, uh, carrots. They get sweet potato, peas, fruits, veggies, and their favorite, Fantastic. which they won't find in the wild, is rice cereal. <laughs> wow. Oh they have quite goodness. a menu to Haley, choose from. Thank you so much for, for stopping in and bringing them. They really, really are adorable. So guests can see our naked mole rat colony inside Natural Encounters. Okay. Every day at the zoo. We'll make Very that cool. one of the stops when we get in there. I want to put the info uh, back up on the screen if you guys want to purchase tickets or find more information. You can visit zoo, HoustonZoo.org or you can call them 713-533-6500. And again, you can buy individual tickets or you can get the entire series and uh, come out to the zoo, hang out. You will not be disappointed. No, you won't. Cheers. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for ladies. I appreciate it.